Well, here's my new uh, Covington Engineering vibrating lap. Couldn't wait to try it out. Just uncrated it and uh, got one of my uh, honeycomb back mirror blanks in it. I have a couple of uh, my earlier 8 inch mirror blanks stacked on top of it to add some weight to it because it's very light. So hopefully it will grind a little quicker. My, my trying to, what I'm trying to do here is smooth out the front surface because it's a little lumpy. has a few uh, ridges on it, a few uh, wrinkles. Uh, so I'm just trying to smooth out the front surface, make it nice and, uh, nice and flat. Uh, the two little pieces of PVC pipe are in there to prevent the, uh, the blank from stalling out in any one particular spot. So um, as, as they bounce around off the bumpers on the side and off the blank, they keep it moving. So it, uh, it circulates throughout the entire pan and it wears the pan evenly. And uh, they seem to work pretty well. Just a couple of short pieces of PVC pipe thrown in there. So this is a 16 inch diameter uh, vibrating lap. Um, I wanted to get a recipro lap, but those things are really, really expensive. And this is about mm, a quarter of the cost of a recipro lap. It's a little small. Uh, I think I can do uh, 14 and a half inch uh, mirror blanks in it if I replace the rubber bumper with something skinnier. Um, but uh, it's a start. It's a start. We'll see how well it works and uh, how long it takes. So I'm going to give this a few hours and uh, I, I wish I'd thought to take uh, some pictures of the before on the surface of the mirror but I didn't. I just threw it right in there because I was so eager to get started. But uh, we'll see how it goes after a few hours of this. So stay tuned for updates.